If you haven't noticed, the stock market has taken some exceptional swings lately. From the destabilizing fall of oil prices to the devaluation of foreign currencies, there are lots of factors driving this instability. Fortunately, Nature Says has uncovered a unique consultant to help you survive this volatility. I have to warn you, however, this advice comes in an initially off-putting package. You see my hot take? My hot take comes from Desmodus Rotundus, or vampire bats. At this point, I'm sure you're wondering what a flying mammal that feasts off of blood can teach us about surviving financial instability in the markets. But actually, you'd be really surprised. Our story? Our story begins in a tree hollow in Uruguay. Well, actually, it could begin in any number of nooks and crannies in South America, but this story? This story begins in a tree hollow. Inside these cozy confines is a roost of vampire bats leisurely doing what vampire bats do. They spend their days sleeping and emerge in mass at night to search for hapless victims. These night runs for calories are profoundly important. And I'm not just talking about waking up with a few uncomfortable hunger pangs if they're unsuccessful. Regular infusions of food is critical to the bats. First, because flying is really energetically expensive. And second, because the bats have virtually no body fat upon which to draw in lean times. Take these two factors together, and it means that missing a single night snack can gravely jeopardize their ability to fly again the next morning. And this starts an inevitable spiral that leads to starvation, a fate that can befall them in just a few days. And here? Well, here we've reached the first similarity between vampire bats and your work to secure your financial future. Really, at its most fundamental level, both of you are dependent on net gains. For the bats, that's finding blood, and for you, it's securing a profit. Because you're both dependent on capturing a sought-after resource, and because failure to do so is disastrous, the foundation for our story is set. Also similar between the investors and those winged creatures of the night is that they hunt in analogous environments. And by that, I don't mean a livestock-filled field in Brazil. Rather, both bats and investors exist in unpredictable circumstances. Take the bats, for example. On any given night, innumerable factors outside of their control can dictate their success at finding food. This includes things like the weather, choosing a particular search area. Should they first fly east and then west? Locating an appropriate host, having sufficient time to feed before being detected, and escaping before turning into someone else's meal are all variables at play. And investors? Well, investors have analogous uncertainties, but their tribulations come from unexpected press releases, CEO statements, earning reports, foreign market swings, and even destabilizing comments from the day's polarizing political candidates. No matter how fit and intelligent the bat, nor well-researched and strategic the investor, there will always remain factors outside of their control that impinge on their respective success. So far, We've seen the similarities between these groups, but where's the advice? Nature has given it to us in what animal behavior specialists refer to as reciprocal food sharing. Don't be confused by its sophisticated name. It's simply a regurgitated gift from one bat who enjoyed success to one whose search came up empty. Somehow the image isn't as uplifting as a mama bird feeding her beloved hatchlings, but I guess the concept's the same. At first glance, this seeming self-sacrifice seems totally counterintuitive. Why would you ever relinquish part of your valuable meal to someone who failed? You wouldn't, until you consider that the fickle nature of finding food means that anyone can fail at any time. Faced with this unsettling prospect, bats band together to provide mutual support when necessary. Follow the vomit-united pair of bats over time, and you'll discover that the initial donor is bound to be the recipient on a different day. Therein lies the insurance and the lesson. The most direct advice is for you to find a willing network of friends to toss you a few Benjamins when your high-risk flyers fail to pan out. But be sure to return the favor because even bats are quick to ostracize individuals who fail to reciprocate. If you don't have any particularly altruistic associates willing to take the leap into socialism with you, don't worry about it. You can more realistically provide your own insurance against adversity by fashioning a roost of diverse investments. Begin by imagining each of your investments as an individual vampire bat. 
Each day you send out your bats in search of profits. Ideally, they're all successful, but the reality is that on any given day, some will inevitably be prosperous where others will come up empty. Fortunately, they all return their collected spoils to the same location, to your portfolio. And once reunited, the day's winners can provide life support to those who happen to fall upon hard times. Through this group effort, your financial colony, like the bats, can thrive. The common and fateful mistake occurs if you decide to evict the day's underperformers from the roost. At first blush, it seems to make total sense. Eliminate the stragglers, clone the big winners, and develop a super colony that consistently returns gorged with profits. But remember that the environment in which you're operating is governed by erratic variables. And today's big winners could just as easily return tomorrow emaciated by an unsuccessful hunt. In fickle environments, when you cull diversity from the roost in an attempt to reap greater rewards, you're likely to go extinct. When a sector, a region, or an entire capitalization category experiences an unexpected downturn. After all, Blockbuster looked pretty good until 2004, as did the Shanghai Composite until 2008. Thinking of your investment portfolio as a vampire bat colony and employing the same survival strategy of reciprocal profit sharing among your individual investments will help you maintain a balanced portfolio and avoid financial starvation when the next big market swing occurs. As for donating blood, well, that's pretty important too. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Nature Says.